Welcome to Trading Lounge and the US stocks for the uh, 5th of June. We'll be looking at um, Nike, General Electric and Atlassian. And um, just starting with the Nikkei, uh, the, the NASDAQ here, is that um, double tops are never the end of a bull campaign, as Gan would say. But um, at the same time, we can expect um, a bit of price action, a bit of um, volatility, a um, bit of vibration um, at this current high here. And normally the process is that it will be resistance and then it will eventually become the support if it was going to move higher. So we can expect, uh, well, we could expect a little we could expect a little push up here or a little push down and then a push up but we'll be looking at something like this here before it becomes before it becomes support it just takes a while it's a process and because nasdaq has been leading to the upside well the stocks within the nasdaq have been leading to the upside and um so it's pretty fair to say that um, we'll just be sticking here for a while and it'll affect, it'll affect many stocks. So let's start with um, perhaps Nike here for us. So going into the watch list here for N for Nike. <clears throat> and we don't want to be looking at that. So we're going to be starting on the four hour chart. So what we've been doing with the four hour chart here is that um, just very simply, I was counting this as one and two here and three and four here and up for five here and ABC for wave two here. Now there's other ways that that could be counted, but um, that will suffice for the for the time being. And when we spoke last time, we were probably to, we were talking about this here, so we were probably entering pretty close to the one hundred uh, dollar mark there, which is a major trading level, trading level one, and we're expecting a pattern like this here, which is the uh, classic trading levels uh, pattern and it looks a bit like this here so we have the arrival the reaction the first high above the level and then we have this corrective move here and then we look to get in over the markets over this side over here so normally we trade to the level get out and then we wait for the setup sitting over here that's just uh this is the classic trading levels pattern there's pretty much only three patterns that can occur at a level um that said first of all the market can just go straight through and never come back to the level but i'm talking about actually having corrections at the level so there's this one which is the classic trading levels pattern then there's this one here which is the variation of the classic trading levels pattern where it doesn't move back down below the level and the third one is the overshoot pattern where it doesn't stop here and just continues to move up and then folds back down now they're the three patterns that occur the other two things that can occur um, obviously are the market come up to the level and drop and never come back or can just go straight through the level and never come back so but if there is going to be some sort of pattern at the level then it's normally one of these patterns here and to understand you know they're, they're, they are just Elliott patterns but in another way they kind of easier to work with once you understand the arrival the reaction the first high above the level and then the correction which can sit on top here or it can drop below here depending on what part of the wave structure it's in and what type of level that we're looking at but when we're looking at um uh trading level one here one being the strongest no number in the market then we can expect um some type of correction we're getting that so we've had the arrival and the reaction and we're looking at the first high above the level and now we'll be looking for the three wave price action here which would coincide with the nasdaq uh in a way struggling with that top there um so um what we do here in terms of looking for a trade setup here is we look for a swing down here that would be in three waves now yes we can go in and buy at this particular point here um if the rest of the market's going to be bullish and so on we can look at that and it should be a five three five structure for this and we'd look at it to come down into roughly the support of the previous level area through here but i can say that when we get this three wave structure and currently we've just got the first wave down we need to get the second wave back up here but that second high becomes a um a bit of a well it comes the trigger really and the catalyst to, to for the next trend here because 
when we look at this here as, as an ABC pattern, it's only an ABC pattern while that particular high stays in place. Once that's breached there, then we can call it an A and a B and a C. But otherwise, the market could just simply work lower from that, that point and, you know, uh, fade from this point here and then move down again from here and take this low out here. So we don't know that. But what we look for here, the safe trade, that's the confirmation. If we can move down and then we get support back on here and we get a, get some other highs to work from, some smaller some smaller highs to work from, we'll get the same pattern again here, then we can work off that pattern there and move up from that point. Um, but we want that as as the support. So that's the safe trade. This is safe. This is not as safe, but reasonably safe because you got support and you put your stop under the 100. Um, and uh, yeah, and buying down here would be where the risk is, but obviously the money's in the turn and uh, that can occur there. So, but any positions you'd move in here with would need to be uh, lower. And it also helps with the ABC pattern here too, if that um, we see this moving down, it should be in five waves. And when it moves down in five waves, we'd want to see a little impulse wave to the upside here. I'm just and then back again as an ABC. So if from the low here we see five waves up and we've got the pullback, well then we can move in on this one here and that takes us up. So that could take us get in a little bit earlier down through here on this. So there's different ways of getting into things that reasonably safely, um, at least managing the exposure with all of this. So um, with that in mind, let's go in and have a little look at the 100 tick chart here. Yeah, so last time we spoke, um, we were looking for, we must have been at the arrival here because I'd got the 38.2% retracement level here to pull back in and then we've moved up again from that point there. So just checking this out now, it looks like we've got one, two, three, four, five down here. So that means that we would retrace uh, 50, 60% depending. So we'll just pop that uh, in there as a retracement level there. And then we'll be looking for a move down at that point. Now, I have to say that um, it, at this stage here, what we also need to do is we need to put a line across here because if there's a new high made here, we need to be going long from that point. As simple as that. Whoops, a daisy. There we go. Nice green line. And then what we want to do here is I can't draw on this side. Of, when I'm on a tick chart, I can't draw on this side of it. But we're looking for... Um, a little bit dodgy the third wave there maybe there's another loader coming but there's five waves in this move here but anyway it doesn't really matter we're not looking for anything at the moment but we'd look for an A and a B and a C wave coming up into this space the 103 area there roughly and then down again in five waves here also too what we want to see is that I can draw over this side with the A wave coming down here this one here, it's quite sharp and wave, wave A's is normally sharp and then wave B will be like this, it will be five waves, three waves and five waves and then we'll see five waves move down uh, in wave C here. But with wave C here, I'm looking for more of an angle. So when this moves down here, the more angle it has like this away from wave A here, then you know that it's an A, B, C here. If the market falls sharply like this here, sharper than wave A here, then you know you've got a third wave and there's a problem at that point. So just the angle of these here uh, can be very helpful um, in, in that situation. So just before we leave, once that B wave high comes into play here, then that green line here, that can go down on top of that high, right? And that's the next thing at that point. And then we'll try and find better better situations in here. You can short against the trend if you want to and do all that sort of stuff, but um, I'll leave that to you to do. Um, what I want to do now is just clean this up here. I need these. And we'll look at... Um, our next stop now. If you were long here, then you should have been out at the 100. That just goes without saying. Um, I'll leave those five there. Don't need that. And we can start putting the levels in on the top here now as well. Well, what I'll do is I'll just lift up these here. So the top of group one is 
what is 103 so it'll be 101 102 103 there and then the next leg up from that will be five at that point and then um i'll leave that there and then eight from that point but one two three five and then eight at that point Atlassian. So um, with this market here, we've been looking at wave four here and then wave one and two here and then one and two in here and then all the way up here for wave three and then back for wave four here. So um, a couple of things here. It's possible that this move up through here is just wave one and then back for wave two and then can move higher here for wave three four and five coming into play here and then come down from that point and then it will have wave three sitting on this one up here the other point here if this is wave four coming down through here then it would pull back 38.2 percent so we can take this low here and that high here and that would bring us in at this basically where it is now at this in this space and the other interesting thing about this particular area here too is that that if this was wave one here and back for wave two that would also be roughly the 61.8 percent there as well uh just probably off the low there by the looks of it um so we'll see and if this so so that could this could play out through here so you'd go long above the 180 there 180 is support you go long um, and that will take you up from 80 to 20 to 200 there. So I'll give you those 20, that $20 there. That would be that uh, scenario. If this is going to be a wave four here, this is the previous wave four here, this one here. Yep. So that means that this previous one is one degree smaller. So really this particular wave four here should be really bigger than this one here. So it's still too small at this stage. So if that's the case, we could probably see this come down a tad more and also go up and then come down and, and then move up around like that. So it's um, nothing really to see here just yet with this. But on the intraday, we can look at it like this here to bring it back in from this wave two here, one and two here and then one and two and three and four here, and then up for five here. As I mentioned, it could be up for one here, back for two here, and then just move, you know, move up from this low here as three, four and five here. That's certainly possible. I just don't know. But um, going long above the 180 or this high here would be the trigger for that. So if you see that, play out strongly there then you can work in that direction otherwise here this way four here the size of this compared to the previous one is just too small so there'll be more we need to see more here the way four 38.2 percent retracement level is basically where, where it is here at the moment but it also can pull back to the way four of one lesser degree so in essence it can you know be anywhere in this particular space here so not very helpful unfortunately but um it just seems like the first leg down through here. So we'll just see if it's got wave four here or we're going to have wave one and two up through there. But that would be the long trade. Uh, and we can get an earlier trade. Now, any support sitting on the on the 180 would be the would be the way to go to the upside. So you you can bring that down further. But I'll leave that to you. And the last market we're going to be looking at is uh, GE, General Electric. So let's go in and have a look at that. So here we go. So just go down to the weekly <clears throat> chart here. So with GE here, we've been looking at one and two here, a nice strong third wave here, and then ABC for the fourth wave. Now, um, and that's all beautiful. You know, wave two was simple and sharp. Wave four was sideways and complex. Um, it's possible that we can have wave five in play here. It's also the low in play, as we've discussed. It's also possible that the move down through here is just wave one, and then we go back for wave two, back into the $10 mark there as a retest for that, and then fail from that, and then move down here again for that there as well. 
So I've got the, I mean, my, uh, the hunch is, is that, um, is that wave five is already in, in, in there as a low, but we won't be able to confirm that until we're sitting on $10 as support. So we've just got to keep an open mind. The reason I feel that we've got wave five in here for is because the extension was in wave three and wave one and wave five are roughly the same length. Obviously they're not, but compared to wave three, um, as a rule of thumb, they're kind of, kind of the same, but it just depends on how far wave four normally pulls back. So, um, so I think that the five waves are in there and I think we'll head up higher, but I wanted to head up higher just with a bit of caution. If we get $10 as, as the support, well, fine, we can, you know, we can cement that, uh, intermediate wave five in, in play there. So So just to be mindful that we could have wave one here and back for wave two at $10, which is roughly the 50, 60% retracement level and move down from that point. But otherwise, we'll play it to the upside. And the first thing that we'll be looking at here next is you can see the price is at $7.76, but we want um, $8 um, for, uh, for that. So we'll just go to the daily chart first. So... Um, so looking at a bit more space here now. So when we first picked this up, we're down here on the low somewhere when we started this. So we've um, got the turn. So these five waves here, I'm just going to move them out of the way here now because I need to lift them up one degree smaller because I'm from what's happening in the rest of the world there, I can see that this here should be played out like this here but getting support at the ten dollar will um well look it's all a step by step so five dollar is is a major trading level so one dollar two dollars three dollars and five dollars and eight dollars and then the fibonacci number goes to 13 after that but we use the power of 10 so we start again. So as we're starting here from $1, we can start from the power of 10 of $10. So $10, $20, $30, $50, $80, and so on. Um, so they're important places to work with. And what we'd want to be looking at, uh, we can be long through here. I can't recall what we've done through here, but um, you would trade to the $8, you'd get out, and then you would just simply wait for that to become the support. And the support um, will be the same patterns as we were looking at before, this pattern here, or this pattern here, or this pattern here. So one of these patterns here um, will give us the support that we need and the new highs where we'll be triggered in to go along from. They're a safe way to trade. So you trade to the level, the $8, get out, wait for the market to do its vibration across the level. Once it settles in as support, and then we go again. It's as simple as that. It's getting on the bus and getting off the bus at the right, at your next, at the next stop. So, um, with this here, we can go to the four hour chart here. So this move up through here, if I remove these here, we can start using them to build in a, a positive trend to the upside. So we'll just leave that there for the mo moment. So the 60, 50, 60% retracement level is way up here. So it's probable that... Um, we can look at this as being bullish to the upside. I've just got it as wave A here, um, but all in all, we could probably look at it. Well, let's not get too excited. Let's just put this one here, this one here, and this one here. And well, this one's moving off nice and nice and strong. So the first thing we need to look at here is take that low here. I know this is not very professional and so on, but um, what it does for us is that if we put it there, uh, then if we get a move above above the $8 and above this level here, so I'll just remove that there and bring that up there. 
if we get a move that's you know, up here somewhere for this move here that's going to be longer than wave one here, well, then it's likely that it's going to be wave three at that point. This will be a wave three moving up here. Um, and we could possibly even call this, it's not getting too excited, as wave one and two in there, but we'll just leave that for the time being. And we'll just um, leave these for the time being as well over here. And we'll put these over here as well. We're just working this, that's all we're doing. So um, what's going to occur here, though, is we're going to have the arrival here. We're going to have the reaction, the first high above the level, and then we're going to see this occur here. And then that gives us our entry point over here for this. That's pretty simple. That will be our setup. So we're not going to go long into this. I don't know if we've been long in this or not. I'll just have a look if we've even got the tick chart on this. Okay, we have been working that, so that's okay. All right, I remember this now. So um, a bit more data would be nice. We need more than that. Right, so we can look at this as one and two and three and four and five up to there. I don't need those now. I need to save space on this memory. The computer's got lots of memory, but the charting program is limited to having so many objects on the chart. Um, I don't need that. So we can look at this here as wave one or five coming up through here. So we were looking for it to come back to wave B or wave two here. Might have to move that there, I have to check that. But it's pulled back to the 61.8% retracement level, which is fine. It also coincides with our medium level here. So between two major levels, so it'd be eight here. So the next major level to the downside would be $5. So this is the halfway mark here. So you can see how $6.50, how important it is. And um, yeah, so um, I'm not sure about this count, actually. One, two, three, four, five for one and two here, then one and two and three and four here. So that technically should be sitting there. And that should be there, that can be there, that's there, that would be that one and two and three here. It's more for four, isn't it? One, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, five. So that can even play out as a third wave there, so I'll better move that and that there. That can come back to here, that can come back to here, that can come here, here, and here, and here, and there, something like that. That looks like one and two in here. What does that look like there? I suppose that's part of that really, isn't it? Oh, I don't know. I have to check on that. Um, anyway, what I can tell you is that um, you're going to see some profit taking at $7.80, um, which is 8 And then you can also come back in here to... 65 because we're talking about group two now and then 72 in here that's group two there right so that's kind of going to be important because when we come above the level here at eight here the thing above here that's important is that three that's the top of group one and two and one here and ten rather so the market with number eight here, this is the closest largest number. So then we drop down to the level. So group one here and group two here, the, this will be the support and this will be the resistance here. If the top here, the 30 becomes the support, then the market's that's that's if it gets a tested support and makes new highs then it's telling you that the market's not going to come back to number eight here it's going to push up to the next number here number five here and from five it's going to get support and move up from that point when this gets tested support here it means that the market's leaving this number and won't be coming back 
right? Um, so we'll just see. But trading above it is not support because it can move above it and then just continue to move back down from that point. So just a little bit of art and science there. And this will become the support uh, area through here for this. So if that's going to be any look at that, that will be something like this here, I'd imagine. And this will be here. And that will be there. Um, yeah, anyway, slight improvement on last time. So we'll leave it at that. Um, thanks for tuning in. Much appreciated. Cheers.